Okay, so in the previous video I said how something like the square root of 48 you might do is like the square root of 4 times the square root of 12, which is 2 root 12. But this isn't fully simplified because root 12 can also be simplified. So if you got to this stage with any of these previous questions that weren't my final answers, this video is really going to help you. So we're going to try and do things that maybe there's more simplifying that could be done. So we're going to begin by actually just focusing on this root 8. I'm going to leave the 6 there and I'm going to split the root 8 into a square root of 4 and a square root of 2. Now you'll notice I added in the multiplication symbol here. That's because this 6 root 8 is secretly a 6 multiplied by root 8. We talked about that earlier on when we said that actually we don't need to write the multiplication symbol. It's a bit like what happens with algebra. So 2 root 2 is 2 times root 2, which means that 6 root 8 is 6 times root 8. So I took the root 8 that was here and I split it into the root 4 times root 2. All I need to do now is work out what root 4 is. So it's going to be a 6 multiplied by 2 multiplied by root 2. 6 times 2 is 12, so it is 12 root 2. And you can check this on the calculator. If I do 6 square root 8, I get 12 root 2. OK, let's do the 2 root 20, where there's going to be the 2 times. Now, the square root of 20, I want to split into a square root of 4 and a square root of 5, because remember, you want to do a square number and then whatever the other one is there. So the square root of 4 is 2, so there's the 2 times 2 times root 5. 2 times 2 is 4, so it is 4 root 5. I'll show you that 2 root 20 is 4 root 5. So the 3 is going to stay there. I'm now just going to work on, I should have said that the root 20 was this bit. I'm now just going to work on the root 27. Now 27 is 9 times 3. 9 is the square number. So I can write this down like this. I'm going to have the 3 times by the square root of 9, which is another 3. But then there's also the square root of 3. 3 times 3, those can be multiplied, is 9 root 3. 3 root 27, yep, it's 9 root 3. So you've got two questions to have a go at here. Pause the video and have a go. OK, 5 root 75, that's going to be a 5 multiplied by 75 is going to be a 25 times 3. So that's a 5 times a 5 times a root 3. That's 25 root 3. And we have 10 root 12, so it's going to be a 10 multiplied by. Now 12 is going to be, well, let's think, it's going to be a 4 times 3, I think. So it's going to be a 10 times the square root of 4, which is 2 times the square root of 3. So the answer to that one, if I put it where it should be, is going to be 20 root 3. So the root 75 is these two, and the root 12 is these two. So you can probably work on that one that was in the previous video to simplify this one even further. OK, in this same video, we're just going to do a couple of bits about going backwards that we've got here, OK? So we're going to use this sort of law that we've got. We're going to be thinking about how we can go from this kind of thing to just inside one single surge, just in case we wanted to do that. Well, the root 3 is definitely going to stay there, but we're going to think, what is 2 the same as? 2 is the same as the square root of 4. So I can replace that 2 with the square root of 4. And now using this law, I can take the inside numbers and put them together. So it is the same as the square root of 12. OK, having a look on this next part, I'm going to try and write this as two things being multiplied. Well, what is 3 the same as? 3 is the square root of 9. So it's root 9 times root 7. So 3 root 7 is the same as the square root of 9 times 7 which is 63. And I'll just show that to you. If I do the square root of 63, I do get 3 root 7. So those were the equivalent bits. OK, 5 root 2. 5 is the same as the square root of 25. So I can replace that with the square root of 25. And I can still multiply it by the square root of 2, which is going to be the 25 times 2 using this law at the top, which is the square root of 50. 5 root 2. And I should have done the square root of 50 is 5 root 2. So it's this kind of idea 
of going backwards with these questions, just in case that's something you might want to do in a question for a particular reason. So you've got three questions to try here. It's your turn. I'm going to go through these right now. Okay, so root, so two is the same as the square root of four. So it's the square root of four times the square root of seven, which is the square root of 28. 10 is the same as the square root of 100. So it's the square root of 100 times the square root of 11. 100 times 11 is 1,100. And I'll show you that the square root of 1,100 is 10 root 11. Now the square root at uh, 5 is the same as the square root of 25. So it's the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. And 25 times 3 is 75. 5 root 3. Why am I doing that way around? The square root of 75 is 5 root 3. Okay, in the next video, we're going to be moving on to skill number three, which is multiplying thirds. We've been doing a bit with multiplying thirds, but we're going to be doing some trickier stuff using this law as well. Found this video helpful? Then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel? If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.